all right, another peach video. We got a. Uh, let's see how to describe this. I had a I had a secret drawing for one lucky subscriber. We're not gonna name names, and some of you may not got the notification, but this subscriber won. And she's over here helping make peach pies. So, she took a photo of her peach pie recipe. We got some glare going on, but uh, seems to be pretty popular in peach pie recipes. There's gonna be a bunch of sugar. You're going to put some lemon in there, you're going to use peaches, uh, you're going to have, well the butter goes on right when you cook it, uh, cornstarch or flour, I think we're going to do, do we decide cornstarch? I guess. I guess we're going to do cornstarch. Mm -hmm. And then maybe vanilla, but I don't know about vanilla, the camera's upside down. Put some one way and some the other. So right now we're working on cutting This is up. not the sharpest knife in the world. It's not? It's supposed to be. No, I'll, sh I'll resharpen it. Let me try another one. There's one right next to you. I like this one, but... No. Um... Let me see I if I can... Like this can I do this while you do it? There you go. Maybe the vacuum's not sure. I don't know. Does that work better? Maybe I just got those organic skins on my peaches that are extra tough. Could be. Well, this one's going through the skin. I'm going to go over here real quick and do a quick tutorial on the sharpening of the knife. Oh, as I shake the whole thing. Now see, we were discussing a person that we both knew who've, who's passed away and may have taught us a few things in life and laughing about old knives and stuff and the way you're cutting that reminds me of how I, she showed me how to cut and I was like, you're going to cut your thumb off! She's like, no I'm not going to cut my thumb off! I was like, but you're not supposed to cut towards your thumb! How, would you, like, how else would you cut? That's how you pair. I know, but I'm just talking about when I was young and it's like watching her cut. It's like, yeah, just like you're putting that thing right into your, it's like, you're going to chop your thumb off. No, I'm not. I've done this before. And I'm like, because I had just like, you know, taken my Boy Scout tote and ship and learned knife, knife safety or whatever. So, whatever. Uh, just kind of, okay. just kind of funny. So there I got. That's four. This only goes to four. Well, that might be close. I mean, I don't know. Go for one more. No, I'll go for one I'm going to try the peeler and see if you can get those little spots. Actually, I think this peeler, I swear to God, this peeler's better. You just it's got those things sharp as shit. See that? Like, don't don't put your thumb on that one. Oop. I don't know what it is. It's magical. It's like the serrated blades on that thing. So these peaches are, they're grown in my yard, and they've got, I think it's called rust. I don't know what it is. I read into it. Ain't going to kill you. You can eat it, but it's just, vis it's a visual thing. So sometimes you remove it. And, yeah, we're probably doing it wrong, I know. Thanks, Internet. But sometimes you blanch, sometimes you don't. We blanched last year, and it was mush. So well, try to See, I didn't blanch any of mine. Well, I, I, just, I mean, just, all those frozen package I had, those are all... Well, I know, because when I kind of rubbed on yours, it... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, no, I didn't blanch any of it that I had. The whole world is a mystery to me. That's enough for all five. All right, so... I'm going to swing over here, and this is what we got. We got 10-pound sugar. Straight down on that one comes down the down. Straight up makes that go up. This is temperature and volume, so if you want warm water, you go like that, and that's warm. I just leave it on cold because cold water is less expensive. <laughs> All right, what do we got? We got pure vanilla in case we decide to do the vanilla. I'm not sure if we're going to. Argo cornstarch, I think is fairly new. I'm not sure if I actually want to check the expiration date on it. 
Get to 22. We're good to 22. So, I mean, what else? So, we're going to just do it in this pan? Uh, well, what do you think? Would you rather mix a giant ass bowl or that bowl? Or I've got all those sizes. I mean, that was just what was out. I think I used that one to go pick today. But it's up to you. I mean, that's fine. I mean, you want to do, you want to try, uh, do you want to try this? Do you want to no. use this to mix it? This might actually, this might be the thing you use. Look at that. You get in there and you scoopity flip. What do you think? Yeah, maybe. I think this thing's worthless. I got everything. I looked at the Pyrex outlet. I bought every size of it. I've got one cup and I've got. Well, oh, I just need one big enough to put all this other stuff in. I've got two one cup. Except for in steel, you don't tap glass, and I wonder how I live this long. Well, you want to try that one? You've seen what I've done Hot water spot, or water spot. Thank you. Okay. So I need, actually, uh, how much of this do I need? A teaspoon. Or take off. Tea or table, one of the two. Easily intermixed. Uh, lemon, where's my lemon? Uh, tablespoon. That seemed to be the universal amount. I think that's to, to prevent browning. Oh, well, that's why I'm going to go ahead and put that on my peaches. Now, do you want to try this ridiculous, stupid thing? Oh, sure. <laughs> now, the thing I read about it was. It's because when you squeeze, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, that thing's, <laughs> garbage. That thing's worthless. That's all right. Turned it over. I think that thing is worthless. Oh. This piece of shit. Can you actually? Yeah, that's stupid. You wasted your 50 cents. I think I did. When you go color, you're like, it's a brand new one. Because we want to keep the dries dry, I think. That's not a waste of 50 cents. That is a good... Um, I might have a little scooper. This isn't the uh, lucky winner of the competition uh, subscriber show. It's you get to participate at High School Sugar Do you want a uh, flatty smoother maker? Yeah, it's just close enough. Oh, that's not even filled. Not enough sugar. We need more sugar than that, don't well, we? You're saying three quarters of a cup, and you said some were less, so. Well, we definitely don't want less. Actually, what someone said is mix it and then eat one. And if it needs more sugar, then you add more sugar. There you go. Okay. Now what else do we need? We gotta decide how much you want to do on the uh, cornstarch. How much do you want? Well, some said three tablespoons, and some said uh, we need to get a different tablespoon out because that's they've wetted. Here's a dry one. I mean, you want to put three in this thing and see how much it is, because your recipe you had out a quarter cup. Well, I know there's three of these in. In one of those. Exactly? Yeah, exactly. Because take a, take a stick of butter. It's eight tablespoons. Okay. Half, on, of, that, half of that Hold is on. four. Let's make sure. This is a, I've only been cooking for about 100 years. This is a reality-based video. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Half four of that. is a quarter. It's four tablespoons is a quarter cup, mother. Four. 
quarter cup. Aha! Aha! Good thing we got the, the geographical evidence. Four tablespoons, quarter cup. It's right there. So that's what I'm saying. Four of those, one of these. That's what I said. <laughs> we, we have it on video. It was th well, whatever. You said to put in three. You said unless I wanted to fill that and you were going to... That would be four. I don't know. Let's start with three and see how it looks. How about that? We'll do that. I don't claim to know anything. I just uh, make it up as I go. That's what I do. Ooh, I even left, left enough there to scrape the lid off, huh? Must have been taught that. I don't know. I've never seen one quite like this, so... Yeah, me neither. Alright, so vanilla maybe, sugar we got, lemons in, peaches in, butter. I don't know why there's supposed to be butter, but that's, we'll throw the butter when we cook it. Well, yeah, the butter, and the flour, that's uh, that's butter, basically it. The butter goes on top when you cook it. Or do you want a whisk? Ooh, hold on a second. I got some random whisks. These bad boys. That's a nice whisk. That's like a coated. That's a score right there. That's a super nice whisk. Nicest whisk I've ever seen. I got a big one like that. I love it. It's the, it's the main, it's the same company as this one. That Kuhn Reich in Switzerland stuff. I might be what my big one is, but... Is that thing not going to work? It's pretty bendy. Well, you just like to get my things that are not wet wet and then my dry things. Well, that's alright. If I use this to do the dry, Fair this enough. one can be wet. So this seems like there's way less liquid. Where does the liquid come from in my filling? When they start reaching out. Alright, do you want to taste one and see how it is? Maybe half of one. We eat too many. There won't be enough for the pie. Oh, I was going to film you do that, because that's something that someone would do, is eat with a knife. <laughs> yeah, because your peaches are sweet. I know. Yeah, I mean, when I cooked them, they must have really broke down, because like it was like a liquid slurry. Okay, so we need to bag this? Yes. I'm not sure if I want to film my pantry or not. <laughs> Oh, the internet gets to see the dark corners of my world. I've got the vacuum sealer. Here's some bags. Something last time that was like amazing. It was this. Is this clean? What's in here? Peaches. Let me read that real quick. Hold up. I set it in there and it made it super easy to fill. Or maybe it was this one. Oh, it's too small. It was just for, for like a base. Spill it well, you've, you've been doing good so far. Do you want to use that crazy new flipper flapper thing? No. Thank you for the offer. Where's the liquids working out? I mean, it kind of takes the, the glamour out of pink pie when you realize it's just a cup of sugar and <laughs> and then what I did is you know, I try to get the air pockets out the best I could see that's not I mean 
don't know how it's gonna work. As far as like, like you remember how it came? When I would bring them by. It was just a solid block of frozen solid. So there's way less liquid involved. In this thing. I don't know where you, how I come up with more liquid. Well, you don't really need more liquid, but the sooner you can get this frozen, the less liquidy it'll probably be. Well, I'll just stick it in the freezer right now. Oh, what, you, what, you, what you need is to maybe get it as tight as you can between a couple of things so it can stand up like this so it's a little flatter. What I should have done is take it from the basement. I screen, you screen, we all screen, dry screen. God, I'm going to show the inside of my freezer too. Well, what about in the door there? Okay. Cram something up next to it so it squishes it up. No, no, no. So it makes it flatter. No. Put, put the... Uh, that's... <laughs> that's the end of this video, kids. Enjoy your pie.